Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, my channel name is Alba Stitcher and this is a channel about cross stitch. Today is Wednesday the 27th of April. It is very sunny, not warm, but sunny here in the west coast of uh, Scotland. Um, and I'm back to do a, a quick update. Um, it's been about two and a half weeks since my last video. Um, I have done uh, quite a bit of stitching in that time. Um, so the plan for today will be to go through the, the whips, the works in progress that I've been working on. Uh, I have one small finish. Uh, I have no fully finishes um, this week. Um, I also have a giveaway winner. I have another giveaway and I have a tiny bit of haul. I'm being a little bit distracted by um, household things. So less looking on the internet at uh, cross stitch and more looking on the internet at plugs, socket, <laughs> uh, door handles, stuff like that. Um, and I'll, I'll do a quick uh, life update as well at the end. Um, so first of all, can I thank everyone who left me a comment last time, in particular sending me and my mother good wishes with my situation with my dad. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of fill you in on what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. Um, also for those who bought me a coffee um, in the last couple of weeks um, and everyone for, for liking and leaving comments and subscribing, it's it's really appreciated. It's very strange um, when you make videos because literally I am sitting here talking to myself. Um, so, so you're never quite sure if people are enjoying what you're doing. So any kind of feedback it, it is good. It, it's always nice to get. So I think we'll crack on and I'll go through what I've been working on. The, the sun's kind of coming and going. So I hope it doesn't get too kind of glary or, or kind of washed out, but I'll do my best. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my finish. So as you know, once, uh, sorry, at the start of the year, I decided that I would do a monthly marker. Last year it had been the Blackbird Design small stockings, which were, were great. And this year I had decided that I would do the Prairie Schooler Prairie Birds. And I have now finished my April one. And this is it here. So this is stitched on 28 count um, parchment by Sparklies and I've used the Cold for DMC. So this is now month number four for me. There is 10 in the, the whole series. Um, I will I will try and do all 10. I will try and get them all finished. That's my plan. But this one um, was super enjoyable to do. I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, so yeah, that, that's me up to date, which is great. And I'm already thinking about what I would want to do um, next year for a monthly market. But yeah, Prairie Birds. I also have a hashtag, which I think is hashtag Prairie, a year of Prairie Birds. Um, I'll put all the hashtags down below so that you can join in if you want. Um, and it's always good to see other people's um, progress. And also the, if they change fabric or threads, it's always quite inspirational. So yes, here is my Prairie Birds um, for April, which um, I really enjoyed doing. So if you remember in my last video, I had mentioned that I felt wasn't really making much progress. I was jumping around a little bit on projects. I, I love all the projects that I've kind of got in my current little rota. Not that I follow a rota, but just the, the projects that I'm working on. But I was really struggling because... If I was working on six projects in over a two week period, I wasn't really making any progress. And if I had a couple of weekends where I was doing stuff, then there was even less time. So this time I've only focused, apart from my Prairie Birds, I've only focused on three other projects. And I think you will see some real progress this time, which is great. Probably my video will be a little bit shorter, but at least you'll see that I have made quite a lot of progress on some of them which hopefully will mean I've got a finish in the next couple of weeks that's what I'm hoping for so I think what I want to do is talk about this project here and this was a new start on the 1st of April and I'm doing this with the lovely Susan um, she also had the 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 chart we both bought them I think at Needlework Expo um, it's I've I have the winter one as well I've not stitched it but now that I'm stitching the spring, I really want to stitch, go back and stitch the winter one. 
What's nice about it is obviously the blocks um, and it is only three colours, which is great. So it was another one I had started, but wasn't making a lot of progress on it. So I was getting a little bit frustrated, but you will see I have made progress. And here it is here. So this is stitched on fibre on a whim, 32 count, um, cream and sugar. This is becoming my kind of favourite neutral at the moment. But you can see there, I'm now over halfway, which is fabulous. Um, this here, <laughs> and Susan said the same, this kind of tree, fern, whatever you would call it, it was a bit challenging. It really was a bit challenging. But if you bear with it, you get through it, which is great. So now, as I say, I'm over halfway. If I hold up the chart, you don't need to see my face, but if you hold up the chart, you can see where I'm at. Um, so I'm certainly not quite on the home straight, but really enjoy it. And all I need to do is really buckle down and it stitches up pretty quickly because you're not doing a lot of colour changes. You're not doing a lot of um, kind of anything to do with confetti or particularly when you're doing the words in the box. It just, you just know what you've got to do. And once you get into the rhythm of the border, also not a problem. So I feel as if I've made some real progress on this. I'll not get it finished this month, which I'm a little bit disappointed at. Um, but it is what it is. It's fine. Um, but I'm hoping for a finish maybe by the middle of May, which would be good. But this is Spring Awakens, because I don't even say, think I said <laughs> the name of the chart. And this is by Summerhouse Stitchworks. Um, it only uses three DMC threads, which I'll tell you they are DMC 924. DMC 758 and DMC 618. It's not huge, it's 118 by 88. So not a huge piece, but I would say thoroughly enjoyable. And if you are stitching this or you want to watch the progress that's been made on it, the hashtag is Spring Awaken Sal. And I'll also include that down below um, so that you can go and kind of check it out or join us if you want. So I'm doing that with that one with Susan. So yeah, that was um, really good. I don't know how many days I spent working on it. It wasn't it wasn't a ton, but it was enough to see some real progress. And I, I was really pleased when I got halfway because you know when you get halfway, then there's another kind of burst of um, yeah, I can do this. I can get it finished. The other project that I worked on this month is from this book here, and this is the Sewing Club by Blackbird Design. Highly. Um, popular book. I see many people stitching from it and it's this chart here that I had chosen to do and it's called Willing Hands. Um, it's stitched all in over dies um, and I actually managed to make quite a bit of progress on that one as well. So if I show you here, I'll just take it out my, my bag, make a little bit of an adjustment so you can see what I've done. But here is my progress on Willing Hands. And this is also stitched on Fibre on a Whim 32 count cream and sugar. I'm just thinking there if it really is, but it is. Um, stitched using all the called for over dies. Um, I'm not quite at the, well, I'm at the edge, but there's a border on this far away edge. Um, but I thought I would come down and try and do the bottom and then try and move along. But yeah, this one here. And I was a bit apprehensive about the the brickwork of the house. I liked, I liked building the house. It's, it's enjoyable, but I was a bit... I thought I would find it a little bit more challenging, but I didn't. Again, there was a kind of rhythm and a pattern there that you could follow. And before you know it, I had it all kind of filled in, which was great. So yeah, this is my progress. This is stitched two over two, 32 count um, cream and sugar. And I absolutely love it. And I think I like it the most because of the colours. I like the oranges, I like the greens um, uh, and the blue. I just, I like, I like the colour palette of it so much. So I'm hoping, again, there could be a finish in sight. That's all the threads there. I'll try and make them kind of look neat but that's all the threads so yeah really really enjoyable um stitch and that's from the sewing club book which there is lots in that book if, if you've not got it it's a fabulous resource 
Um, okay. And the final project that I stitched on in the last couple of weeks, and I this was my most recent one that I've been stitching on, is this one here, which is from Hands Across the Sea, and it's called The Rose and the Giant Pear. Now, if you may remember at the last, in my last video, I had commented that I was finding the border a little bit challenging. Um, I'm not, I don't think I normally have a problem stitching borders, but maybe I do. <laughs> That's now my, um, maybe my, <laughs> my conclusion is that maybe I do find it hard, but I, I powered through. <laughs> what I decided to do was, I spent a couple of um, nights, which is not sometimes not that long. It can only be maybe sometimes an hour, sometimes two hours, but often not more than that. I spent a bit of time trying to do the border. And once you kind of found the rhythm of the border, it was much easier. I worked with two needles, one um, threaded with red thread, one threaded with the blue thread. And that really did make, make it much easier for me. And then last night I did a bit of work on the house to try and finish the house off. So I'm pretty pleased with how far I've gotten with this one. And if you again, you don't need to see me, but you can see there hopefully that I've, I'm kind of getting there. I need to try and um, obviously do the big rows. Um, if you can see it, do the big rows and obviously the rest of the border. But I'm now no longer terrified of that border. Um, so I, I feel as if. Yeah, it's also doable. In fact, all three projects that I've shown are probably all on the same path for being finished unless I just focus on one of them. I'm not sure I'll just focus on one. I do like to jump around and you'll notice that there are two projects that I didn't touch at all in these last two weeks. Um, one of them is The Christmas Eve by um, uh, <sighs> Cottage Garden Samplings, sorry I had to think there, and the other one that I've not touched is the sal that I'm doing with the lovely Melanie, which is on the Korai Batakori um, Halloween and Quilt, and I really do want to stitch on them in the next couple of weeks, so um, that's my that's my plan, my plan will be to um, pick them up, so one of or two of these will not be touched in the next couple of weeks, but this is a super enjoyable one, and I saw a finish on Instagram for Sarah Fletcher. I don't have that chart, but I'm 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 pretty tempted to get it. So you you may see that in my haul for next time. Um, it, it was a beautiful kind of small um sampler. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to um pick that one up and maybe stitch on that. So yeah, that's what I've stitched on in the last two and a half weeks. I know it's not volume. But I certainly feel as if I've made some progress, which is good. I'm that kind of stitcher. I need to see progress. I like finishes. Um, I love starts as well. But when I just have a bunch of starts, I don't feel so good about my stitching. So my plan will be definitely to try and uh, get a finish for my next video. And I wanted to say that I'm stitching this on the DMC. Um, the fabric that I'm using is 32 count Affogato by uh, Fibre on a Whim, um, but it's the DMC, I've not taken the silk, so you can see the, the way that the stitches up, it's, it's very like the picture. So, what else have I got this week for you? I think maybe I'll talk about the giveaway winner. So, you may remember last time I had got the new... A pretty schooler the Santa chart and I also got you the threads and I only ask that people use the word Santa in their comment and then I've just done the random comment picker before I came to, to film and the winner is Raffaella Galesi so congratulations Raffaella if you can um, either message me on Instagram or send me an email the email address um, is down below um, so that I have your address and I'll get this off into the post to you. I'd also like to say that for my giveaways, they are international. I don't mind going to the post office, no problem. Um, obviously, you'll need to wait to get them, but yeah, no problem. So congratulations, Raffaella, and I hope you enjoy stitching up um, the lovely little Santa from Prairie Schooler. And I have a giveaway for this 
time as well. I'll just do it now while we're talking. So the giveaway, I was gifted some lovely fabric. I mentioned it last time in my video and now it's time to, to give it away. And this is a beautiful piece of permin and it's water lily and it looks to me, I think it's 36 count. So if you're interested in receiving this lovely piece of permin um, linen, um, I would say if you can use the word uh, lily. If you just use the word lily, so L-I-L-Y, then that's what I'll filter on and um, somebody will be receiving this lovely piece of fabric. Um, and this was gifted to me. And what I'll do is I'll maybe throw in a few extra things in there as well. So if you're interested, the piece is 27 inches by 20 inches, so it's quite a large piece. Um, so use the word lily. Okay, what else do I have? I have some haul. Um, not a lot of haul, as I say, I'm being distracted. Yeah, but distracted by household things. But I picked this up um, off Stash and Loads on um, one of the Facebook groups. This is Strawberry Harvest by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, I just really liked it. thought it was really nice and summery. Um, I also picked up this little 3D bird. And I got this from Arts and Design. Um, and it's by Cotton Pixels. I had never heard of them, to be honest. But they're, they're not big. But you make them into this. I don't know if you can really see that. It's like a little um, Christmas ornament. So yeah, that was Winter Bird. I'd already purchased, I think, Spring Bird. I showed in my previous video. So yeah, try and get that done for Christmas. And then I picked up the final three. Um, so I've now got the full set of this. And this is Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And this was their kind of Peppermint Lane series. So this is number eight, which is the Needleworker House. I don't know if you can see that. Um, number seven, which is Pomegranate House. And finally, I think this is number nine, which is Christmas House. And I've not checked all of them. The, the colour palettes are very similar. So I thought I would start gathering the threads because I really I really like the series. Um, so I started to gather the threads up just to give me a, give me a heads up because there's nine houses in total. So there'll be a fair number of threads. I need. They're all done with the over dies. But yeah, I just, I really like that colour palette. But I am not convinced I'll do them all in one piece. Because I struggle when the pieces are too large. I may well just do them in kind of individually. But the colour palettes are very, very similar. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I've got the full set now. Um, so now I'll just gather up the threads and decide what I want to do. It may end up just into small pillows. I don't think it'll end up into one huge one. But yeah, I would certainly say this designer, it was fairly new to me. I have a few of her charts now. But certainly follow her on Instagram and you can see um, just these all completed. She has them completed all together, all nine of them. And she also has them done individually um, as little pillows. And the only other thing I purchased was a piece of fabric. Because, you know, life for me is nothing if I don't purchase a piece of fabric. So this is Picture This Plus. I did <laughs> I had to think there. This is picture this plus and this is 32 count font. Um, I may use it for one of these because I, I quite like it. I think the called for is picture this plus. Oaken. So the called for is Oaken, but I might use font. I don't know. But yeah, I picked this up. I, I, this was one of my favourite neutrals for long enough until I couldn't get it anymore. And when I couldn't get it anymore, I then... I then looked for something else, which was fibre on the whim, fibre on a whim, cream and sugar. And that was my, my new favourite. And that's it. <laughs> I don't really don't have a lot this this week. Um, 
but I will do a, a quick life update as well at the at the end. Um, so yeah, if you're interested um, in the giveaway for the piece of fabric, please use the word Lily. Um, and if you're not interested in any kind of life update, then I'll see you all in a couple of weeks and hopefully, fingers crossed, to have some sort of finish. Um, but let me quickly uh, just give you a bit of a life update, particularly with my dad and what's been happening with him. If you remember in my last video, we were having problems with his medication because partly he was refusing to take it and partly he felt ill taking it. But that's now been resolved and we've managed to get him up to the 20 milligrams, which is, is great. Um, how, however, we, we did go out on Easter Sunday. So that was what, maybe a week past the weekend there. We went out for, for Easter. We went for something to eat. And he, he does struggle to use um, cutlery, but actually that day he was perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, it, it is, it's a struggle. You see him visibly declining, I would say, every day. Um, and I live in the same house, so I see him every day. Um, I see my mum having to do more and more for him um, to help him get dressed. Um, so it, it's it's not easy. Um, and I try and, and encourage him to come with me. I'll say, right, come, we'll go and get a newspaper and some coffee. No, I don't want to go anywhere. So I see him just not even wanting to do things now. Um, so sometimes I'll take my mum, I'll say, right, let, we'll go for the coffee and get the newspapers and, and stuff like that. But it, it it's horrible. That That's that's what I would say. It's, it's a horrible situation. I feel heartfelt for my mum because she's been with my dad now for so many years um they're approaching kind of 50 58 years together married um and my well my mantra on most things as you know if you followed me for any length of time when kind of life throws stuff at you my mantra is always right okay let's just look forward let's focus on what we can do let's focus on the positive um the, this is a, a real struggle because when you look look forward to focus on what's happening next, it's not nice. Um, you don't really want to look to see what's happening because the next bit is is not so good. So it's a struggle. It's a struggle for all of us. Um, and sometimes my dad's like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting better. I, I feel better. I'm getting better. But clearly he's not. Um, the, the days where he's better today is a terrible day he's extremely grumpy today i'm not working today because it's um king's day in the netherlands so anybody who's dutch i hope you're enjoying your king's day so we did have some plans then those plans didn't happen um yeah it, it's it's tough and i know many of you have um reached out and you've told me your own personal stories um you've also directed me to different resources but i it, it is tough. Um, yeah. So so my coping mechanism is a little bit challenged at the moment because my coping mechanism is always just look forward. It's going to be better. We can get through this. It, it's, um, yeah, it's difficult. So um, other news, good news, is that next weekend, so the weekend of the 7th of May, I will be away for a stitchy day, which is lovely. It's organised by a group on Facebook called the Ayrshire Cross Stitchers, I think. I think that's what they're called. I think they might have renamed it recently to Scottish Cross Stitchers, but we're down in Ayr, um, and I've decided to go down the day before. I'm going to go down on the Friday, stay over, so that I don't have an early rise on the Saturday, um, and that'll be a good stitchy day. And I will probably pull out my Carolyn Manning, thistles that I worked on at the last retreat I went to because um, it's a nice I think it's a nice um, piece to work on at a retreat um, so yeah I've got that to look forward to as well and then a couple of weeks after that I'm away to Istanbul for four days so so that'll be nice as well I'm looking forward to that um, so yeah I'll see you all in two weeks time hopefully um, I hope you're all well um, yeah that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, sticking around for me rambling on. And I'm sorry it's not so long this time, but yeah, I, I don't, sometimes I don't have so much to, to ramble on about. But I'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye bye.